My name is Neil Greg Fulton. I'm one of the festival's senior programmers and I'm delighted to welcome you all here today to this screening of A Sense of Freedom. Sadly, the final entry in this year's Peter McDougall, John McKenzie retrospective. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage Mr. Peter McDougall and Mr. David Heyman. Thing. John is not very, he doesn't give you daily notes, he doesn't keep pestering with direction, which is wonderful. He leaves you to create what you're going to create and then he'll sculpt and shape, as all good directors do. And in day one, he said to me, he said, Oi, you, he says, Come here. He said, Be truthful. That's all I want from you, be truthful. And if you're not truthful, I'll jump in your fing arse. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I had the sword of Damocles hanging over my head every morning when I went to work. Mackenzie's, Mackenzie's there with his, you know, his, his, uh, his blade. <laughs> I didn't like the thing that I saw there. I wrote that, and I wrote it as a younger man, and I watched my language being bastardised in order to appeal to what somebody in London, because it wasn't to change my lines. Because I know David can do that, and neither would John, neither would Jeremy, but they changed the accents. Hi, how are you? Do you want to jump? <laughs> <laughs> that, I thank you. Thank and you. of course, and one McKenzie. Of John McKenzie. But I just do want to say that handmade films at the end of the credits is Right, they preserved it, they're making it possible for us to see it. But that film was made by my little company, which had never made anything else in its life, and Scottish Television, which paid for every single penny of the cost. And in, I just want to mention that because it shows you, that in the same way as the three films we've already seen by John and Peter, were made by the BBC in a heyday where talent was given its head. It, all this film shows us what Scottish television once did and could do again if it put its mind to it. Absolutely. I'm very appreciative of it as well because I've been seriously well taken care of. Um, two years ago, they did a retrospective of some of my stuff at the television festival, except nobody tell me. So, so I wasn't invited. Uh, and a couple of actors I knew went, and that's how I knew it was on. And I've had various things like that, where you feel a bit... I remember sitting with my two children in London, in my house, and Princess Margaret gave me an award, except I wasn't there. <laughs> the producer said, and on behalf of so-and-so, who can't be here, and of course I can't be here, I'm sitting there with two wings, nobody told me. 